A lot of times people have a very difficult time receiving compliments, or if they do receive them, retaining them. Um, they don't have a place to put them. Um, Virginia Satir, she's passed on now, but she wrote a great book uh, about this in regards to having an emotional tank. And here's the way she described it, that each of us have within us an emotional bucket, an emotional pot, if you will. And that when we take in compliments, we receive compliments or aff affirmations that they go into this tank. And if this tank doesn't have a bottom in it, we don't keep it. Now, this describes the person, doesn't matter how beautiful they are, how many times you tell them they're beautiful, they don't believe they're beautiful. You tell them how intelligent they are, doesn't matter how many times you tell them, doesn't matter how much validation there is, they don't believe it. You tell them how much you love them. You try to demonstrate how much you love them. You keep pouring into them. Doesn't matter how much you pour into them, they don't retain it. They don't have a bottom in their bucket. Now, the bottom in this bucket is actually a developmental process. It's supposed to be put in by our parent or caregiver between the ages of one and two years old. And the bottom of the bucket is unconditional love. That's why from age one to two, that it's extremely important for you to communicate unconditional love to your child. That puts a bottom in their bucket. Now, perfect parenting does that. Now, how many of us are perfect parents? None of us. How many of us had perfect parents? Zero. None of us. Because we are imperfect human beings. And most of us as parents didn't even know we were supposed to be doing that. We think to love a child unconditionally is to spoil them. And I've had people say to me, I don't want to spoil my child. Well, here's a fact. You cannot spoil a child prior to age two. You can love them unconditionally before age two. Now, age two might become problematic. <laughs> That's where we get the term, the terrible twos from. That's when children start having their own ideas, want to do it their way. But prior to that, um, we can love them unconditionally, and that does not spoil them. It lets them know that they belong. It lets them know that they are loved. It lets them know that they are in community, and that's extremely important. Now, most of us have an imperfect bottom to our bucket. Uh, some of us don't have a bottom to it at all. Some of us have a bottom, but it's got holes in it. It leaks. Uh, some of those holes are bigger than others. So we retain some things, we're not able to retain others um, because of the imperfect, um, unconditional love that we received. When we get older, we tend to look for that bottom of that bucket, to put it in that metaphor, uh, we look for it to be fulfilled externally, and it cannot be. The only one that can put or repair the bottom in the emotional tank that you have in your soul is you. It cannot be done by somebody else externally after two years of age, it's impossible. So you have to start learning to believe your own validations believe your own uh, positive thoughts about you. Sometimes we call it learning to love yourself. It's more than just learning to love yourself. It's learning to accept the validations of you. Learning to validate you. 
here's one of the things that needs to happen there. I'm glad I am me. I'm glad I'm who I am. I'm, I'm thankful for my physical attributes. Now, you may not like all of them, but find those that you do like and validate them. And start giving yourself validation, owning it. And when other people validate you, thank them. I call this creating a sticky place. Thank them for the validation. Don't discredit it. Don't disown it. Don't discard it. Don't throw it away. Thank you. I accept that. I receive that. Sometimes we think, oh, they were just being nice or they're disingenuous or other ways that we discount it. Start believing it and receive it. Have a place to keep it inside. That's how we start putting a bottom in our bucket and start filling our own emotional tank instead of relying.